How poetry can contribute to our view of history. I'm Declan Dunn, founder of Remember.org, and I'm grateful to be here with The Song Remains, sharing this because I was inspired 42 years ago by a poem by Charlotte Delbo, which led me to create Remember.org. In a class where history at the surface was a summary told by the victors, a perception telling what happened, always the what and the facts, debated and refined, often by intellects judging the past. Poetry to me is perspective, showing the human, the individual beneath the experience of history, bringing it beyond facts to connecting us to what actually happened. And as Leonard Cohen once sang, there is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. To me, poetry is the light that cracks history open and shows the light, the experience, and the humanity of what people went through. Poetry gives us what's beneath the surface of history, a three-dimensional experience instead of trying to narrow it down. Like the Yiddish poem, The Ring, written by Miriam Ulanover, one of the only Orthodox poets, female of her time, Parted from this ring I will never choose. My heart could not survive. Tighter, smaller grows my life, and the ring has now grown loose. In words like that, poetry becomes a bridge to that history. Beneath the battles and what we read in history classes is the struggle, the experience, the Yiddish culture. Fragile, and in the case of these poems, a statement that I am alive. I was here. Poetry also fills in the gaps because a great poem, when you read it, you want to go deeper. There are gaps in there. What's missing? How can I learn more? Like Alexander Chamel, who shared his poem, I Cannot Forget, which echoes Never Shall I Forget by Elie Wiesel, and is a poem that talks about his experience in Ruata. And what that does is invite the students not to study who was there, what was the battle, who were the generals, but from a per people's perspective, a people's history, not a history written to persuade, a history written to be remembered and to be shared. History gives us answers. Poetry keeps us asking questions, going deeper and remembering. And that urge to go deeper leads us to expressions like you're seeing here, birdsong. This was written by a sixth grader in 1993 with no connection to the Holocaust, but who had studied poetry and art, inspired by a teacher who said, now you show me what you think, what your poetry is. And in birdsong, what she writes is, he doesn't know the world at all, nor what to sing about. I do, but does it matter? I feel trapped here, my love for all things. Vanish, trapped beyond reality and a nightmare. I know I'd open my heart to beauty and go into the woods. Someday I hope that one day I will realize how wonderful it is to be alive. In a way, poetry makes us remember. History makes us want to forget. Poetry is the voice of a person, perspective speaking out saying, I am here, remember me. Like these poems written in Yiddish, a language that may seem lost, but in these poems is alive and vibrant and saying, remember, that's what poetry contributes to history. <laughs>